everyone, and welcome back to our fourth and final segment of the new UU classes and videos. My name is Sarah, and next I'm going to be taking you on a brief tour of our uh, building and grounds, so you get an idea of an insider's look at the UU CFL. We're going to start out in the front, where we have a peace pool garden um, that was done a few years ago. It includes benches, there are some prayer flags up top, um, it's a lovely place to sit down, enjoy the view, relax, have a nice chat. Um, so you can see some of the benches here, some of the plants that were put in. There's a lot of native plants around our building and grounds. Then as you continue walking towards the building, um, you'll see we have another little island of trees um, on the end of our driveway. Um, as well as some other lovely flowering plants. They smell amazing when they're in bloom. A little Spanish moss right there. And that brings you up to our front of our building. You see our Love is Love banner um, prominent on the tower, uh, right above our name, the Unitarian Universalist Congregation of Fort Lauderdale. Um, and then we're going to continue to come up um, to the front area to see the chalice mosaic on the floor, and then the front doors above which says, Come, come, whoever you are, after our uh, hymn. I believe it's 188, the same title. And as you walk out, you are met with Merry Meet and Merry Part and Merry Meet Again, which is a traditional pagan goodbye. And so that takes us to the front yard. And now let us go inside where we will get a good view of our indoors. And next, next we come to the sanctuary. The sanctuary, um, if, so as you go through those front doors, you come and take a left and you walk through here and you see the double doors back there. Um, so this is a view of the front of the sanctuary from the dais. Um, this is where if you are ever going to give a talk, this is what you will see. Next, um, we're going to take a look at the banners. Uh, this first banner is for Hinduism. All of these banners were made in the 1980s and brought with and set up here at the UUCFL at its site in Oakland Park. Here is the Islam banner. And all the names of the creators are located in the bottom corners of uh, the banners that they made. Taoism. Uh, there's one of our Unitarian Universalist Freedom and Acceptance. Interweave Unitarian Universalist. That was a uh, mission for the LGBTQ plus folks of uh, our congregation in the 90s, I believe. Uh, the next banner actually came up from the Hollywood Fellowship. Um, it also depicts all of the world religions. And it hung above the sanctuary there um, on Roosevelt Street. And it came with at the merger and now hangs there right above the doors. Uh, next, you see our chalice banner for the Unitarian Universalist Fort Lauderdale, Florida congregation. Right next to the, that is the Moon Path Cups banner for the pagans, uh, the Christianity ba banner for the UU Christians. Uh, next is Buddhism. And. Right out here, by the way, is our patio, um, as a bit of orientation, and Judaism, right by the ramp at the front of the sanctuary. Next, um, as you go out those back, if you go all the way down the hallway from the sanctuary, you'll go out a set of doors taking you to the playground. The playground was recently remodeled a couple of years ago, it includes uh, play spaces, uh, for the children, a lot of trees, a swing set, um, as well as a small community garden that hasn't been looked after so well during the time of COVID, but we've been working on it. No doubt we'll get back to it soon. Like I said, lovely tree canopy, lots of shade, um, good place uh, for the young ones to hang out. Um, then we're going to come around to the backyard next. And then in this next scene, you will see our backyard. Um, what is shown here are some of the trees at the back of the open area. This area here will be the future site of the gazebo. And then um, there's 
uh, the memorial garden back behind that white wall, some additional trees, and over here you'll see uh, the main fire pit where the full moon drumming will be taking place later. And as we come back around here, uh, this group of trees is our fairy garden behind those picnic tables. And next we'll see up front, this is the front view of the fairy garden. There is a goddess who was brought up from the Hollywood UU near the small fire pit seen there. And continue walking, that path will lead to the memorial garden under the trees. And behind the grill and sink area is our labyrinth, which we'll be looking at next. So as you so this is here. a static view of our labyrinth. Um, it's an it's one of the larger uh, labyrinths in the area. It's in the Celtic pattern. Excellent place to walk, take a meditation. Um, and this is from one of our work days uh, when we were getting all the mulch and the weeding and the straightening of the stones done. So you can see one of our members hard at work in the background there. Now let's go inside the building. So we come here. This is a room you'll hear about a lot, the multi-purpose room, named for longtime member Gertie Bell. And currently it's set up for the school, um, as you see in that picture there. Um, and then some of the groups that you'll find here. Um, daytimers meet on Wednesdays. Um, it, they do <laughs> all kinds of important things. They do get paperwork done, they send out greeting cards, birthdays, chat chat, all sorts of stuff. So if you are free and available and want people to hang out with on Wednesday afternoons, daytimers will be the place to be. Another uh, group here is the Bold Justice. Uh, it's Broward Organized Leaders Doing Justice. We've had a lot of uh, campaigns under the leadership of our bold and brave Marie Turner um, representing us as well as our we send delegations to things such as the Nemamaya action and this year we are focused on climate climate justice environmental justice and how is climate change affecting you past initiatives have included working with the Broward Sheriff's Office to remove the uh, to move anything from minors to a civil citation to prevent children from starting their adulthood with a criminal record, to other initiatives with uh, nursing homes, making sure they're adequately supervised and maintained. So there have been a lot of really good causes with Bold Justice. That you, if you're interested in uh, the more just society, building a more perfect world, they may be something you'd be looking at. UU Sisterhood um, is another very active group at UUCFL. Um, it's for the women especially uh, put on LifeNet for Families. It is our cooperative feeding program and food drive. They hold monthly f food collections as well as continuous food collection inside the sanctuary. And in the last three years alone, They've collected over 3,000 pounds of food for LifeNet for Families, which is a cooperative feeding program that UUCFL works with. And we also do a plarning, making sleeping mats for the homeless as part of our work with LifeNet for Families and the Green Team. This is led by Alba. All skills are welcome. We cut the plastic bags roll them as you can see in the picture here string them together and then they get rolled up into uh, balls of plarn which crocheters then crochet into a sleeping mat which is rollable and has a handle with a strap that are given out with life net for families to the homeless population of broward county so that they can have a plastic impermeable barrier between themselves and the ground when they are sleeping outside. Because it is a way of recycling plastic mats, it's uh, also very often linked in with our 
green team, of course. Now, the UUCFL green team is part of a Unitarian Universalist commitment to ensuring environmentally sustainable practices throughout our buildings, our communities, and our membership. So if you're in interested in environmental justice, maybe you could give the green team a shot. And then CUPS. CUPS stands for uh, Covenant of Unitarian Universalist Pagans. Moonpath CUPS is the Fort Lauderdale chapter uh, associated with the congregation. It is a weekly uh, meeting for pagans and pagan-leaning individuals who uh, want to learn more about the spiritual practices associated with paganism. So if uh, natural and earth-based religions are of interest, definitely uh, see about giving cups a visit. And finally, we have the men's group. Um, just like the sisterhood, the men's group gather together to discuss common issues and uh, causes that they're interested in expanding on and promoting. So that is our tour of some of the groups, uh, locations, and other um, things that you'll see around the UUCFL. And so if you're interested, by all means, reach out to anyone in or trustees, leadership, longtime members, or our minister to learn more about our building, our grounds, and things you may want to do and check out, which are also always located in the Curious Courier each week, too. So, thank you very much, and I hope you found this video enlightening.